the Huawei P40 Pro has some of the most powerful cameras in any smartphone to date. But some stuff might not be as intuitive to find as you would expect. So here's how to activate features like the all new AI Golden Snap and other photography tips. With a 50 megapixel main camera on the rear, you might think that your photos will be super big. Thankfully, Huawei pixel bins photos by default. Pixel binning is a process in which data from four pixels will be combined into one, resulting in a photo that can boast better low light performance while keeping file sizes small. But if you want that 50 megapixel high resolution photo, how do you get it? Well, you can activate it via the high res mode that's available under the More tab all the way to the right. Another way to activate it is through the Pro mode. Pro mode allows users to control every single aspect of the photo, from white balance to shutter speed and even focus distance. For quick snaps, the normal photo mode is fine, but if you want to have even more granular control over photos for special shots like light painting or long exposure shots, this is the mode you need to be in. The quad camera array at the back features a telephoto lens that supports up to 5 times optical zoom and 50 times digital zoom. But it's not always easy to pinch in and out to the precise amount that you'd like to zoom into. A simple method is to just tap on the left or right of the zoom indicator to zoom in or out respectively. This way, it swaps quickly between the main lens, ultra wide angle lens, and telephoto lenses. Night mode is easily activated at the leftmost side of the mode bar, but don't just use night mode during nighttime. Contrary to the name, you can actually use it during bright daylight as well to balance between overexposed and dark areas. The trade off is that this mode requires a second or two more to capture a photo, so make sure you only use this for static images. The AI Golden Snap feature from Huawei. This has been touted to remove passers-by from your photos as well as reflections from glass surfaces. This can be activated by tapping on the moving picture button on the top left, resulting in a burst of photos taken when the shutter button is tapped. By using an algorithm that checks which elements are static and which are moving, the phone will attempt to remove moving elements such as humans walking by. As for reflections in glass, it's also activated the same way with the moving picture button and then in the edit screen, there's an option to remove reflections. We found that this worked quite well, but it's still dependent on conditions such as the angle that the person is facing, as well as lighting conditions. If you're taking photos of human subjects, you'll most likely want a blurred out background. There are two options, portrait mode and aperture mode. In portrait mode, you don't get to choose between the different Leica color settings. Instead, you get options for beauty mode and effects, which adjust how the bouquet looks. There are some interesting effects like swirl, hearts, and more. For even stronger bouquet though, the aperture mode is the one to go for. We tested it out and noticed that the separation between subject and background is really quite impressive. More than that, you get the option to choose between Leica Standard, Leica Vivid, and Leica Smooth. There are a lot more options in the main photo mode, but at least there are some to choose from for aperture mode. To get the most out of this mode, remember to tap to set the focus area on the subject and then adjust the aperture setting at the bottom. It can go all the way to f0.95, which is relatively shallow, so don't forget to make sure your focus is locked in. For landscape and cityscape photography, you might find the field of view on the main lens a bit limiting. Switch on over to the ultra-wide lens and squeeze more into that photo. The ultra-wide lens is an 18mm equivalent, which isn't quite as wide as other ultra-wide lenses out there, but it does the job decently with almost no distortion visible at all. As for the front, the P40 Pro has a 32 megapixel front camera in conjunction with a depth sensor. Once you swap from the rear to front cameras, the phone automatically jumps into portrait mode, which is a pretty nice touch. We recommend turning down the beauty settings a little to prevent over softening on the skin. There's also the same background effects available here for bokeh, which we recommend as well. So it does look quite nice. Don't forget to hold your phone up at a higher angle to make your face seem smaller. You're welcome. That's fine. <laughs> My arm hurts, I know, I know. And that's what we have for you guys today. Honestly, I think there's a lot of space and options to play around with the cameras on this phone. And it actually is a pretty good tool for mobile photographers who are looking to upgrade from what they have right now.